The United States has accused the Houthis of impairing the flow of goods and the humanitarian aid. To the war affected Yemenis and imposing restrictions on the movement of aid workers. Those statements made by Linda Thomas Greenfield, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Security Council. This report has more details. The U.S. emphasized that Yemenis are eager to see progress on peace efforts and urged all Yemeni parties to engage with the U.N. Special Envoy and to constructively participate in future Yemeni-Yemeni negotiations. According to U.S. Representative to the U.N., Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the Houthis continue to impede oil exports, aggravating Yemen's humanitarian and economic crises. At a U.N. Security Council briefing on Yemen, the U.S. ambassador stated that certain Yemenis continue to face and even intensify limitations on the flow of products such as Houthis' obstruction to the sale of cooking gas and the transfer of other goods from South Yemen to the north. She added that the Houthis have continued to block oil shipments, which has made Yemen's humanitarian and economic crises worse. Some Yemenis are suffering from continued and even increased restrictions on the flow of goods, including Houthi impediments to the sale of cooking gas and to the movement of other goods from southern Yemen to, uh, to the north. The Houthis also continue to block oil exports, further exacerbating, further exacerbating the uh, Yemen's humanitarian and economic crisis. Yemenis are rightfully anxious to see progress on peace efforts. Progress will require the Yemeni parties to come together to negotiate complex issues like the use of Yemen's sovereign resources to pay public salaries. We urge the parties to cooperate with the UN Special Envoy and to meaningfully participate in future Yemeni-Yemeni talks. The United Nations Security Council approved a resolution extending the UN mission to support the Hodeida Agreement's mandate to July 14, 2024, for an additional year. Later, the U.S. envoy praised the U.N. for its updates and insistence on resolving the safer oil tanker with the U.N. development program, despite the fact that much more work need to be done. According to Ms. Linda, the safer operation serves as an example for international cooperation in Yemen. She urged keeping things moving forward and getting the extra $25 million required to finish both phases of the SAFER operation. Additionally, the U.S. representative urged private contributors to help the U.N. plan to prevent a disaster. The U.N.'s humanitarian response in Yemen remains dangerously underfunded, and cuts to assistance would have dire consequences for Yemenis at a time when famine conditions are poised to reemerge. Meanwhile, the 15 nation organization was informed by Hans Grunberg, the Secretary General Special Envoy for Yemen, that the country and its people are still gaining the advantages of the longest period of relative peace since the start of the conflict.